このディオだ無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄Alright, what's going on guys? This is the Death Smasher here and welcome back to another video of Bleach Brave Souls. And today we are going to be showcasing the new Mind Yukio that came out uh, just yesterday. And we're going to be showcasing him in three different builds. Which is normal attack damage, strong attack damage, and his uh, phenomenal hybrid build. But before starting, I have to give a shout out to a certain person that joined me. Because uh, I, uh, we were just summoning off screen on our own, and uh, I decided, you know, I may as well spend some orbs with him and see what happens. And it turns out I actually pulled the Yukio. So, anyways, let me clear my throat. <laughs> the shout out goes to my man, Hey Stragon. <laughs> For basically giving me some good luck and summoning on 3% banners because if you guys saw my Bankens, uh summons, they, I got shafted so badly and trolled so badly. And as a compensation to have a good hybrid such as this, it fills me with joy. So you know what, we're gonna get, with that being said and out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Yeah. Okay, so first build we're going to be starting off is with his normal tag damage build. So we have triple 25 nad links and all accessories with 30% attack. And uh, yeah, so we're going to see how well he performs with his normal tag damage. So yeah, here we are in game. Because this guy is a hybrid character and has uh, share pretty much uh, some equal stats when it comes to the attack and SP. He does also have Bombardment, so really, if you want to go for a normal attack damage build, I would say to not give him a Chappie, because it just basically takes away all of your SP for when it comes to using some of his strong attacks, and you won't be able to nuke with a special. But even so, the numbers that he's doing against the enemies is outstanding. It's pretty damn good, in my opinion, because he's doing around... 10k damage, okay? That is really good. And his reach is actually pretty darn good. And and it's also similar to Mind Tsukushima, where when he attacks, he, he, he vanishes uh, for, temporarily, which is actually a nice trick that they come up with. I'm, I'm liking what they're doing with the uh, new Fullbringers. But anyways, yeah, I'd say that the normal attack damage build is viable for the new Yukio. Does it does a ton of damage, has a great reach, and overall, with his vortex, you can do a lot more. And it's actually really good because, <laughs> funny or not, but most of his uh, attacks, they're similar to Wide Zangetsu. Well, his strong attacks, to say the least, except the first one, but the second one and third one. It's pretty damn similar to Wide Zangus, so it's not almost the same, just that it's slightly different. But anyways, his normal attack damage link, it's good, just don't chap him. That's all I'm gonna say. And now let's use a special. Oh my god. I love his special. It's so damn cool. Of course it closes in, and now we're gonna get Wide Zangetsu shield. And there we go. And that's his normal attack damage, folks. Next up is his strong attack damage build. Alright, so next up we will be looking at his strong attack damage build. So I have triple 25 strong attack damage links and all accessories with 30% SP. I'm sorry if I'm using a uh, incomplete Hokyoku, but I have an Unraku with 20% SP, so I won't be able to showcase his SP at his best, so for now... I gave him the best I possibly could, and yeah, his strong attack damage goes up to 105%, because I don't know why, but they decided to give him a low Berserker than a uh, Bruiser, so 
because his, his Bruiser is at 60% while his uh, Berserker is at 30%. I don't know why, but anyways, we'll just see how he performs with a strong attack. Alright, so here we are back in game, so we're gonna have a look at his strong tech damage build and oof. He's doing pretty big numbers with his uh strong attack damage. Well I mean the second one is a vortex. And the funny thing is Wow! I barely even fucking lasted a minute. Okay, we're back at it again. So anyways, his first strong attack, he uh, does almost 7k, which is pretty damn good. And I have to say that right away, immediately, from when I started playing with this build. I have to say that the strong attack damage build is also viable. Because even though you have to wait for quite a while for your strong attacks to come back, his normal attack damage is helping out a lot because he has... A 60% extra attack increase for his normal attacks, plus 720 attack. It really does help out a lot for when when waiting for your strong attacks to come back. And boy, it's really damn good. It's doing so much damage. So yeah, I have to say that it's pretty good. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, okay, yeah, 7k. That's for sure. It's damn good. On to the next area. Hey, look at all these hollows. This man tried to fire his plane. Turns out he got raped. And... <laughs> oh, shit. What is up with me dying so heavily? I don't understand. Probably because... I'm against art. And shit like that. But anyways, uh, his strong attacks surprisingly do a lot of damage. Regardless of the fact that he has a 30% Berserker, just give him a, a nice 25, triple 25, and he can he pretty much does the damage of what a Frenzy character can do. And in my opinion, works quite a lot. Mm, oh, oh my god, I'm gonna get ambushed now. Shit. But anyways, I have, to, I have to say, I, did I don't have the OG Yu-Gi-Oh, but I've seen the gameplay of his. And I have to say, if I gotta choose between the new Yukio or the old one that has Frenzy, I'd have to choose the new one just because it's just way better, cooler special, better strong attacks, and you can build them in any way, shape, or form, and it still works just fine. And yo, special because he has bombardment, he can easily nuke. So yeah, strong attack damage build viable. Alright, last but not least, we are going to be taking a look at Yukio's best build that you can build out of him. His hybrid build. So what we gave him here is a Yuki with 30% SP, a Puffles with 30% attack, and a Holobait with 20% SP. I'm sorry if it's not 30%, but it's kind of the best act what I can come up with. And then I gave him two 20% strong attack damage links and a Frenzy Grimmage Out link, which gives him an additional 16% normal attack damage and a 18% strong attack damage. Thus, giving him a precise number of 76% sad increase, 88% nad increase. So yeah, overall this is a damn good setup that I could come up with Yukio. And we're gonna put that to the test because in my opinion, I think this will work out best. I did try build them before and uh, I couldn't exactly find the best number to balance it out. So this is the, the best that I could come up with. So either way, you can choose to give him either multiple strong attack damage links or multiple normal attack damage links. Or even just go for a full stamina or low stamina damage build. But for me, in my opinion, I think this is the best build. I can come up for him. So now let's get on with the gameplay. Alright, so let's see how much. Oh my. 
The strong attacks do a shit ton of damage. Normal attack. Hold on, let me see those big numbers. Oh, damn. 4.5k. That's actually really damn good. The strong attacks are also doing some great damage. 6k. Yo, I'm I'm fucking loving this character. In my opinion, I actually love it way. I actually love him way more than Manga Bia. Ooh, six. He, he almost reached six k with a normal attack damage. Yo, shit. This guy is good. He is really really good. Though. So yeah, if you guys do pull Yukio from the uh, three percent gacha that's that has uh, Orihime, him and Jackie, Yukio is not a bad character. And in my opinion, he is by far the best hybrid character out there. Because look at that damage, bro! Look at that fucking damage! That is so good! And but and keep in mind, this is my first time playing as him with a build. Because I just recently got him to level 200. And it's fucking good. It's fucking fabulous. But anyways, hybrid build. It's pretty much the best link links and accessories you can come up for him because you can either you know just build him any way shape or shape or form you want he doesn't have frenzy or flurry but as a hybrid character he does extremely well and he can easily take out enemies and in my opinion he is viable for the for the harder co-op quests inheritance such as inheritance zone droplet zone and uh whatnot so now let's go ahead and nuke him with a special and get this shit done. Yo, can we? There we go. And that is how you end it. And that was all of his builds. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my showcase of the new Mind Yukio that just recently came out a couple of days ago. You can summon for him right now, but the rates are really low, so don't expect to be able to get a 5-star. But if you guys do plan on pulling, good luck in your summons, because I've been really fucking lucky in pulling him with just 5 singles. But anyways, do I recommend this Yukio? I, re I highly recommend him for for really hard co-op quests and just basically anything, any raid in general. He's, because he's just that good, and he's an overall big improvement from the OG Yukio we got last year that had Frenzy and a decent SP, but his strong attacks were really fucking shit. So yeah, I do recommend using him. He is a damn good hybrid unit, hollow killer. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.